All right, all right. Coming back and let the church say amen. Hope everybody's having a beautiful, blessed day. I'm going to dive right into this video. Um, T1, 41. You said, have I ever had a dream about the rapture? And you notice there's a lot of that going on. And uh, I'm going to just do this video. Uh, it's JT talking. Because uh, you know how I am about rapture. Nothing against nobody that believe in rapture. Uh, but just coming from, you know, my thoughts. I've never, that's a good question also. I've never had a dream about rapture. And I always look at what the word of God says. But I can tell you what I have had a dream about. The second coming of Christ. The way he returned. And you went back to uh, Paul. With um, First Thessalonians. I believe that's 4 and 17. And we'd be caught up in the clouds. And you were looking at my old video about the word cloud. And how cloud in the Greek means crowd. And it seemed like it's a contradiction. Well, let me let me say this off top because Paul was talking to the Thessalonians, the Christians at Thessalonians, and what was going on then was that they was giving up hope. Their loved ones had died and passed on, and, and Paul was confident in them, and they was confused on the coming of Christ. And a lot of them, like I said, they was quitting their jobs, and you don't stop there. Because when you look at 2 Thessalonians, Paul said, I don't want y'all to be ignorant about the coming of Christ. And the day of the Lord, he was trying to explain to them, okay, this man of sin got to be revealed first. So that's just another reason why it's too... I look at closely what Jesus said about his coming because you see the difference when Paul spoke to the church. But then you saw when Jesus spoke to his disciples in private. Another reason why he always talked in parables. He laid it out for the disciples so pretty. And he let them know that, it, it, you know, these things, all these signs got to take place first. This man of sin, boy, it look like it's so much going on right now. And I, I feel what you're saying, too, because you was talking about how people were saying there's going to be this secret way out of here and how Jesus will come before tribulation. And like I always say, that's talking against scripture because that's not my talk. That's not my word when I say that's God's word. When he say he will come immediately after, it didn't say immediately before. He said immediately, immediately after tribulations when he will come. And I look at what's going on. And I look at what got to happen first. Satan comes first, and it's a lot of deceiving going on right now. That's why I always say I'm not going to get on now. Somebody else can, but I'm not going to get on the camera or not on camera and teach about something that God didn't put in His Word off of you know a misunderstanding of Scripture. You know, because most people are going to base their rapture on First Thessalonians 4 and 17. Well, that's the, you got to remember, this stuff was not rolled in English. And I don't say the Bible at fault. I say it's a lot of translators. A lot of translators use, to me, they use the wrong words. Because when you study the Greek and the Hebrew alphabet, you see the difference. And like I say, one word could have more than, more than one, one meaning. Because Paul was saying, okay, we're going to meet him in the air you know, in the clouds, but then he came back in Second Thessalonians and he changed it up because he said it's going to be a great falling away first. So that's why people, they read the rapture scripture that they think that's a rapture and then they skip over Second Thessalonians. So it lets you know that this man of sin got to be revealed. The, the, the abomination of desolation that Daniel spoke of, standing where he ought not be. So they let you know that Satan got to keep doing what he got to do first then Christ will return. Christ never said he was going to rapture up nobody. He never said he was going to sneak his way in here. As a matter of fact, he said it was going to be loud and clear when he returned and that everybody will be able to see him. And plus the whole bottom line of it is heaven is on earth. The old heaven is going to pass away. The new Jerusalem, this is what everybody skip off. And I don't have nothing against nobody in their dreams. You know, you got, you got a lot of people saying that, you know, oh, I had a dream. I got taken up in the cloud and I went far away. That's not my belief. That's not the way God laid it out to me because Christ is coming this way. He left in the cloud and he's coming back through the cloud to dwell on earth. You know, for us to be on earth, what do you, where do you think the millennium kingdom is going to be? And then you, you look at what Peter said about the, the elements of the earth. So it's, it's a lot of confusion behind this, you know. So no, I've never in my life had a rapture dream, but I have had a dream about how Christ comes in, you know, at the seventh trump. See, that's the whole confusion right there. You got everybody, not everybody, Lord forgive me, but you got a lot of people taking you out here on the sixth trumpet. Well, 
if you're getting taken out on the sixth trumpet, that means you're going to miss Christ because Christ's number is seven. Everything happens at that seven. That's why when, when I did the video about Matthew 24, you got to look at what Jesus said. I'm not taking nothing against from what Paul said. I'm just showing you who Paul was talking to. When Jesus spoke to the disciples, he spoke to them. They always was right there privately. They look at the look at the scripture. They went to him in private. They were talking about those stones in Matthew 24. There must have been some brick, some some big old pretty looking stones. And Jesus told them wasn't gonna be no stone left. That's why he talked about the one on the rooftop or the one in the field. That's why he said, "Don't go back to get nothing." Why? Because the end will be. It's not going to be no need to go run back in the house and get nothing. It's not going to be no need to go get no clothes because the end will be the end. And that's the difference between where you see Paul, who he was talking to, and First Thessalonians, he was talking to them. He was comforted in them. They was, they was, man, they were sad because they had already lost their loved ones. But when you see Jesus talking to those disciples in private, it was totally different. Jesus never mentioned nothing about a rapture. But he told you the way he will come. That's why I talk about um, resurrection. And you hear me you hear me talk about the day of the Lord. You know, I don't try to confuse people because anytime you get to talking about a rapture, it's gonna be a debate. And somebody gonna wanna debate with me with this video, but I'm not gonna even, you know, leave no comment. But you asked me about the uh dream. And um, no, that's why I say I had I had a dream a while back about Christ riding on that white horse. But in my dream, who came on the first horse? Satan. See, if you look in Revelation closely, Satan marks everything Christ do. You'll see two. You'll see two white horses mentioned in Revelation. But the first white horse, you don't want a part of that one. See, that's that false piece. That's that false rider. That's that fake person, which is Satan. But Christ, yes, Christ comes in later on, and that's when he coming in. He's not coming in here to. To be put on the cross again he will rule and let me tell you something people that don't people that's going up against god they're gonna have a hard time bro so as a as a child of god a true believer stand tall you don't have to I mean you don't have to worry about you know you 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 will suffer greater <laughs> for his name's sake that's why he told the disciples to save your life you must lose this life and that's how my mind is made up i'm not i'm not trying to focus on no secret way out of it i mean i can't I can't get on camera and teach against the word of God. I guarantee you anybody if they study um, 1 Thessalonians about that um, to those who are alive will remain, what is it, will, will, will meet them in the clouds. I guarantee if you read that, then keep on reading 2 Thessalonians. You'll see where Paul correct that. I don't want you to be ignorant, brother. Because it's, it's going to be people saying when you keep reading, you sum it up, it's Paul was saying that it's going to be some people saying that he already came and that y'all missed him. See, I can't see myself, let me say this again, I can't see myself riding down the street in my car with me and my me and my brother in there and my brother gets snatched out and I'm left. Well, first of all, if you get snatched away, where are you going? Can't nobody answer that. Where are you going? If you're going to get caught up, where are you going when he's coming this way? You're going that way, he's coming this way. Well, who you going to be with? When the new heaven is on earth. But see, it takes, um, I'm not trying to say I know it all, trust me. It takes um, the spirit to teach that, man. Just like Revelation, you got, to, you got to be in the spirit to understand those scriptures. Now you can understand why the disciples had a hard time understanding them parables. They, I mean, the word of God to me, it interprets it itself. But at the same time, you got a lot of confusion. That's why rapture is not rolled in the Bible. But now you got people done. I told you in the old video where that rapture mess came from. Lord, I don't mean to call it a mess. Forgive me. But I told you where it came from. The, the, the lady and the other guy. I can't think of their name at the moment. But where that originally came from, it didn't come from the word of God. So if anybody adding something to the word of God, I don't want no part of that Bible. I want to look at what Christ said immediately after tribulation. All of these things, when he talked about the beginning of sorrows, he foretold everything. And it got to happen just the way the Lord laid it out. And it will happen. And it is happening. Revelation deal with past, present, and future. So you might be an idealist about Revelation. So I, I explain those four things also too. And when you think about it, it's happening just the way the Lord say those horses have those horses been riding. And you can see the seals have already been broken, but not all of them. And you must see the starvation 
Well, what do you think those horses was dealing with? But most people waiting to see a big old crazy looking horse, and they waiting to see the devil coming here with thorns in his head, and they waiting on somebody else to tell them the world going to end in 2012 or December. That's what the Bible was talking about, all this deception. Do not be deceived by no man. Let no man deceive you. I, I can't tell you how Christ laid that out so plain and clear because he knew it was going to be a lot of deceiving going on. Now you got to debate about pre-trip, post-trip, trip, trip. We got Christ coming back 800 times, look like. But when he will return, he's coming this way to rule. Satan got his little posse. The Lord got his. The Lord got his soldiers with him also. So back to the question, no, I have never had a dream about being raptured away. That one in the field, uh, two in the, what is it, two in the field, one get taken, one on the rooftop, um, I'm not, I'm not quoted all the way right. People think that that's a rapture, and that's not a rapture. See, that's how Satan got so many folks fooled. Oh, he getting left, he coming, he left. Well, he said we would all be changed in the twinkling of an eye. When he talked about that, um, when Paul was talking about being caught in the cloud, when you break that down in the Greek, cloud means crowd. So it's going to be a group of people. And what the word is saying is we're going to be changed with one breath. Just like a snap of a finger, right then, changed into your spiritual body. And God don't have to float you in order to change you. He can change me sitting right in this seat. When Christ will return at the seventh trump, seven, six come before seven. You got to remember that number seven is Christ's spiritual completion number. That's why he comes in seven. All this other stuff people are preaching about comes at six. And if you're being taken out before the seventh trump, how will you hear Christ? And if the church is gone out of her head of time, <laughs> who is Satan deceiving? See, you can't you can't contradict the Bible like that. That lets you know that saints will be around. The elect have to be bold to even stand. Another thing is if the Lord didn't want, if you was going to be toted out of here secretly, he wouldn't even warn us in the word of God about the mark of the beast. Now can you see what I'm saying? Why put the mark of the beast in the word if wasn't nobody going to be here? That lets you know it's going to be a lot. Even the elect would almost be fooled if what? Those days wasn't shortened down. Now, you can take what I'm saying and don't believe it, or you can believe it. I, like I say, I don't claim to know it out. I'm just saying what the Word of God say, and I'm not even going to open up the Bible because I, know I already did a video about this. So I had a dream about the second coming, but I've never had a dream about being raptured. Oh, wait, I don't use the word rapture. I talk about the gathering, the true wedding at the end. Israel will reunite. And you can say spiritual Israel. If you are a follower and you love the Lord, you will be with the Lord at the end. It's only two places you're going to wind up. Because hell, that's why I say you got to learn the difference between hell and the lake of fire. Hell is going to be judged. They let you know at judgment that hell, hate is the grave. The Lord is going to be able to send some here and send some there. But when you in the second judgment, I mean the second death, which is the lake of fire, which is the second death, there's no coming out of that. See, that's why I made a stupid statement in my other video. I said I got a better chance in hell than in the lake of fire. Somebody don't understand that because hell is not the lake of fire. Hell, Hades, Sheol is just a common grave. If you think I'm lying, look it up in the Greek, look it up in the Hebrew, and see if it don't say grave. So with that being said, we all got to go by the grave. I don't care who you are. I wish I could get carried away like Enoch, but that's not going to happen like that. We all got to go by one way or the other. And it's them books will be open. You either going to have your name in the book of life or you're going to be in the lake of fire, which is the second death, eternal punishment. That's where you don't want to go. You don't want to be a part of the of that judgment. So with that being said, brother, I hope that answers your question, man. I've never had a rapture dream, but I listen to people that have had them, you know. Do I, do I agree with a lot of it? No, just like people don't agree with me when I teach gathering instead of rapture, but that's fine. The word of God, you know, like many men would say, ain't no need to debate. The word of God lays it out so beautiful, man. That's why I say you got to look at what Christ said about the beginning of sorrows. You got to look at the parable of the fig tree. You got to look at these signs and times. He told us, he told the disciples, and in his word, it tell you about everything that must 
So it said this generation, oh hallelujah, I feel you. Speak, Holy Ghost. This generation shall not pass until all these things happen. So they let you know it's not going to be no secret sneaking out of here. These things must happen. And you know Christ is not a man that will lie. And with that being said, these things will happen. And they are happening. And it's going to get worse. We ain't seen nothing yet. Just let us keep on living. It's going to get worse. Look at overseas. Look at what goes on in Israel. Just take a good look and see if that Bible, if it's not lining up with the Bible, just like the Bible say that it was going to happen. So no, once again, I've never, ever had a rapture dream. But I don't have nothing against nobody. That have had dreams. I can't tell nobody what they done dreamed of. I done had plenty of dreams, good and bad. And a lot of them didn't make no sense. But at the same time, I pray for the Lord to reveal anything to me that I don't understand. And he do. Just me personally, that's why I'm speaking personally from myself. Rapture don't fly. I don't fly with a rapture doctrine. I fly with what Christ said. I, I can't believe in what somebody else done, you know, made up. I can't think of that guy name and that woman name at the moment. But that's how rapture got put in place. Because now you got so many Bibles out. So many people teaching you. It's more than one way to get to Christ now. You can get through. You can get there through Buddha. You can get there through Islam. Well, I don't want to be a part of none of that. I want to get there the right way. The way the Lord say. So with that being said, man. Peace and remain blessed.